All right, this is a video to show you how to put the overlay and the background images into DSLR Pro. Uh, right here, you can see I've already put the overlay onto the desktop and the background. This is a JPEG file and the overlay is a PNG file. So if you drag that in from your email and I email it to you and put it on your desktop, it should be it should look like that, uh, depending on what the images are, of course. Here is your DSLR Remote Pro. Just go ahead and open that, double click on it, and you'll see it opens up, comes up to the screen. You're not connected to your camera, of course. And here's your print layout button right here. You want to click on the print layout. So we'll click on that. Zoom you back out. And here, this is your previous job. You can see that's what was run last time. Um, and then over here is where you enter your new job. Uh, we can delete, come over here, delete our background. When I push that, that will delete your background. We click yes. There goes your background. You can come over here and delete your overlay file. Click yes. And then you're starting fresh. Um, now most of these we're trying to go to three up layouts. Um, once we go into there is a way to change this from a three up to a four up layout and that is you press on this preset here. Um, click on that and you can see it jumped to this three up layout. If you come over here you'll see this is a double strip of three up. That's what we do is double strips. You don't want singles. If we do a double strip of four, you click on double strip, and the fourth image boxes will show up. Uh, then you just click OK, and see, you can see that it changed over here to four. Um, but we aren't going to do four. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that so you knew how to do it. So we'll go back to presets. Come back up here to double strip of three. I'll show you what a single strip looks like. There's a single strip. Might be something we would do at some event, I don't know. So here's the double strip of three. That's what we like, that's what our clients like. It's a quicker uh, for people to get through the line. Click on OK. And here we are with our three up double strip layout. Now we gotta import our background. Right here you'll see import. You click import. And that's gonna show you now when you click on desktop, that's what you got. You don't want recent places or libraries or computer. Just make sure you click on desktop and look through here. And all of a sudden you'll see your background is there. Your overlay will not be there because the program is looking for a JPEG file. And that's what your background file is. It's a JPEG. So the overlay file will not show up. You just click on your background. It says background. If I ever misspell this, it won't work. You'll have to come in and, re and, and rename that with the correct spelling. So just click on background. And then come over here and click on OK. And there's your background popped into place. All right, now we'll come back over here. We're going to click on Import Overlay. And there's your overlay. Uh, and I think I can double click that instead of just single click and then click open. Let's give it a try. Double click, yeah. All right, now. When you look at this, this is an odd, different looking um, 
a photo strip that doesn't look like most. You see these lines that are running through here. They're supposed to go over just the top edge of your image pictures that, that will go there. So you're going to have to move all of these. Um, you can click on this, and once you click on it, it highlights it, and then you can drag it. Like so. And it's hard to see that white line, but it's there. We'll come up and try the blue one. Drag it down. You can also you can also use it's it's kind of hard. You can also use the arrows the arrows on your um, little what do you call this remote. So we'll, we'll we'll go with the up arrow. See what we get here. I guess I don't need up arrow, I need the sideways arrow. There you can see it moving. And we want it to come down a little bit. And we want to center that. And I'm gonna come down a little bit more because I just want that to be right at the very top edge of the picture, not really in the picture. So now I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna click on this one again. I'm gonna lower that. There should be a black space between there. And you can see that it needs to go to the right. So it lines up with the blue. All right, now we're gonna come up to this one. And like I said, you can drag it or let's just try using the arrow key. This arrow key is kind of slow, I guess. It's moving. I'm not gonna wait for it. I'm gonna drag it down. All right, I got it that far. Now I'm going to use the arrow key. Oh boy, that is slow. I'm just, if I just keep clicking, it seems a little faster. All right, so now you got those fairly even space. I'm going to move this yellow one to the right a little bit. And then we'll come over here. We're going to try and move this a little bit quicker. Uh, there we go. Something like that. Come up to this one. Slide her down. Ah, it's really difficult with this remote. There, you can see when that red line comes on. This red line here, it tells you you're you're lined up with these other ones. Um, all right, coming down now. There we go. Go up to this one. I'm going to slide it down with my finger. Not the most accurate way to do it, but come on. There we go. Now, we're going to bring that down. And yeah. It's kind of the caveman way of doing this, but it's not terrible, uh, terribly hard. Now, there is a right way to do it, or I should say, not the caveman. This over here, there's ways to enter the exact coordinates in, and uh, I could give them to you. <laughs> but I don't want to confuse people. For right now, go with the way I showed you. Uh, you can drag those into position. This particular template, like I said, it's hard to see where they go. I just know that these go here like this. And uh, then you can come back over here and you can print test page. We'll click on that. All right, printer's got to warm up. Oh, she's going already. See what I got here. All right. So, what'd you get? You got, you got them, and it looks like they are in pretty good position. Uh, only problem is you got one four by six photo strip. You don't have two separate ones. So, come back over here. 
And you could go to here, print setup, and uh, anyways, I printed on here, or clicked on here, print setup, and you come over here. We are using the P25L, otherwise it wouldn't have printed for us, but uh, that's what you check. Okay, now we need to check setup printer. Papers. And it says 6x4, 152x100 millimeter. Click on that. Come down to... 6x4 split at 6x2, two, two prints. Click on that, hit OK, and then come back here and hit OK again. All right, now we'll try another test page, print test page. All right, come back. See if it worked. By golly, there it is. Two photo strips. Kevin and Audrey, 10, 19, 19. All right, so we confirm that it works. Come on over here, hit OK. All right, now we're back to our normal screen. Let's go over here, turn on your, turn on your, camera and turn on your flash and we'll do an actual test all right okay so checking my settings this says bulb which is wrong I don't know why it flips to that sometimes things just change on this program we want to be up at like uh, yeah, 60, you can go, you can go up to 100. This TV stands for time value, which is the shutter speed. This has to be at least 60, otherwise it won't work with the camera. Um, and this will also affect the ambient light in the room. The higher, or I should say, the lower you put this, the more ambient light it will allow in. Um, general rule of thumb, 100 is good. AV, that's your aperture value. That's the size uh, the lens opening. Generally, I'm usually around 10, 11, 12, maybe 14, depending on how people, how close they are. Let's put it at 12. Um, and this, along with your flash, will control the brightness. Exposure is on manual, so we're not going to let the camera decide. We just told the camera what we want. This ISO is your sensitivity. So you can tell your camera I want I, you want it to be more sensitive or not. If you put a higher number, it's going to be much more sensitive. It'll gather more light, um, but it'll get more noise and grain in the image. 400 is usually plenty with this flash. Um, if you're outdoors in the sun, turn it all the way down to 100. Uh, for most situations, 400 works just fine. Uh, you turn the flash uh, to a point that it works. Size quality, we don't mess with that. Small to normal is, nor is what we use. Daylight, that's your white balance. Leave it on daylight. I know that it says there's a position here that says flash, but I have had best luck just leaving it with daylight. I'm just leaving that metering mode at evaluative. Um, since you have it in manual, that's not going to do anything. 
Drive mode is single shot. Don't don't go to anything else. Single shot is correct. And autofocus is one shot autofocus. If you go in here, you got other um, you know options. One shot autofocus is what you want. Um, there may be a time when there's people that stand in front of your lens and the camera can't focus because they got like a black shirt on and, and it can't see anything. It needs to have contrast. And so autofocus may hunt. The camera will zoom in and out trying to find. Uh, but for the most part, autofocus is what you want. There is some times when you may want to autofocus it at the speed the distance you're going to be at and then come back in here and put it on manual but 99% of the time I've been all right with one shot autofocus as long as you've got this outside light turned on which I don't this light up here we'll turn that on there we go you get that light on and just about always, that's enough light for the camera to focus. All right, picture style is standard. We were on standard. All right, so we did our print setup. Stay out of the photo booth wizard. Uh, print layout, is, you've already seen that. Don't get in here and advanced settings, reprint photo booth photos. Ah, not sure about that. I haven't used it. I'll have to check on that and start photo booth. I'm going to click that and there we go. Now we'll aim the, the lens. All right, now you can see that that is out of focus. All right, now when I, I'm going to click the left button, that's what activates this button right here under my thumb activates the, sh the camera. The right button turns the picture from color to black and white back and forth. So there we've got black and white. There we've got color. All right, so now I'm going to hit one time, click this, and it should focus and then take the picture. All right, let's see. There you go. I am in focus. All right, so it should take... Two more, and we're on photo two. All right. All right, last photo. And there we go. You hear the clapping? You can turn that up and down. Not volumes on here, but all right. Let's see if we get a print. Sounds like it's working. There we go. Double check. Let's look and see how my position is. This top one. I got that little white bar just across the top. Second one down. It looks like it's about right. Third one down. I think I'm good. Kevin and Audrey, 10, 19, 19. And this one should be a duplicate. So that's it. We're ready to go. Have fun.